I ran an Australian man because I was drunk on the bottom of the rum, but that's, you know. <laughs> and while I was with him, I fell asleep twice. I've got two kids by him. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two kids now. If you're one of two kids, you ask your mummy, ask your mummy, mummy, which one's your favourite? Now, she'll be a nice mummy and she'll say, I love you both the same. <laughs> I'm not a nice mummy, I'm an honest mummy. The boy's my favourite, the daughter's a bitch, right? And that's a fact. That's a fact. I only had her for spare parts, right? <laughs> oh, you can groan. I do like a drink. I'm calling in that liver on Easter Friday, let me tell you. I'm having that all day long. Now, when we first moved over here, back here to England, to Great Britain, because it's Great Britain, I love this country, we went to live down in Kent, in, uh, near Seven Oaks in Kent, and I took my kids to the primary school, and I said to the head teacher, Miss Humphreys, that's Kimberly, that's David, I like that one, I don't like that one. <laughs> I said, Miss Humphreys, I'm telling you now, these kids, they're my kids. They're not academic. They're not creative. <laughs> Haven't got an artistic bone in their body. Don't get sending them home with that homemade crap you send kids home with on Mother's Day. <laughs> not having any of it. Well, she must have forgotten. <laughs> and the kids come home on Mother's Day, all thrilled to bits, they'd made me. Jewelry made a pasta. <laughs> now a nice mummy would say, oh, isn't that lovely, darling, and put it on and praise it. No, I said, what the freaking hell is that? Look at me, people. I'm channeling Joan Collins here, darling. <laughs> Joan Collins has done a trolley dash in Claire's accessories, right? And they come home with this pasta jewel. I'm not having it. It's got paint all over. I can't even boil it, can I? <laughs> But this year, they've grown up now. This last year, they were brilliant. David, my favourite one, <laughs> bought me a Black & Decker makeup remover. How's that, eh? Hey? <laughs> the daughter... <sighs> ..bought me an ironing board cover. <laughs> she said, Mum, don't do the resting board face. Just open it up. I opened it up. Oh, I had a tingle in my drawers. Oh, it's got a hunky bloke lying on it with a six pack and a towel just across there. And when you iron... <laughs> do you know about it? When you iron, the towel disappears. Woo! It's the best present she ever bought me and I'm going to let her keep her liver for a bit longer.